So continuing on with the meditations of Rene Descartes, uh, let's continue on and and, uh, you know, at one point he says something that's quite interesting that gives it a little bit different flavor. Um, uh, okay, what, what if it isn't that I'm just dreaming that this isn't really real, but, but what if I'm being manipulated by a malicious demon? What if there's some evil demon that is just filling my head with ideas and making me think that I am a student in college and sitting through a lecture and uh, worrying about uh, getting all my papers done and those final exams that are coming up. What if that's all just some sort of imprinted uh, sort of waking dream created by some mysterious demonic force that's just, you know, effing with me, just, just toying with me. And that, in reality, the reality of things is something entirely different. How would I know if the reality were something entirely different? Okay, so this, this introduces um, something that then gets picked up in a, in a lot of science fiction films and uh, a lot of stories throughout uh, throughout the ages, but um, the one that's very clearly uh, a, a nice analogy to um, to what uh, Descartes is talking about is the Matrix. So we have this here. Um, we have the Wachowski. Uh, siblings, let's say, um, who wrote this story and um, created this film that has, uh, you know, an interesting um, sort of uh, style and everything. Um, but it really is a rendition on Descartes' men meditation. So the core idea within the film, the core like uh, plot structure, uh, is built around uh, something like in in Rene Descartes' meditation, especially the malicious demon type uh, rendition. Now I'm sure that some of you are familiar with it, but not all of us. But but um, but uh, you know, if not, take a look at this Wikipedia page. And uh, you know you might want to do that right now and kind of read through this just to get an idea of what's going on. This is from 1999, so some of us weren't even born at that point. Um, but uh, it is it is a good good film, and it's worth watching. You know if you have a chance to do that. Um, yeah, but there is something that I wanted to do that. All right, so this works actually. Okay, that's better. Um, So what I want to do is, is to, I think what I'll do right here within the, the Zoom video is I'm going to show you a couple of clips from the film. And in these two clips, it is explained what is going on with the main character, uh, uh, Neo is, is the main character. And what he's realizing in these couple of scenes is that everything that he thought was real is not real, that it was basically a dream or basically a fantasy, fantasy 
input into his brain uh, by a kind of malicious demon. So, so let's, let's kind of take a look at that and, and see how this works out. Okay. I need to share the sound with you. output carrier signal so we can pinpoint your location. What does that mean? It means buckle your seatbelt, Dorothy, because Kansas is going bye-bye. dream, Neo, that you were so sure was real. What if you were unable to wake from that dream? How would you know the difference between the dream world and the real world? This can't be. Be what? Be real? It's going into replication. Hey, Pa. It's still nothing. It's cool. Tank, we're going to need a signal soon. I got a fibrillation. APOC, location. Targeting almost there. He's going into arrest. Lock, I got him. Now, Tank, now.
the real world. Okay, so uh, let's see. Okay, so in that clip, the the part where he wakes up and he's all hairless and he has the the inputs into his body that is in the context of this narrative that's the real world and what happened before that uh, was all a computer generated uh, artificial reality so it's a virtual reality as we call it um, nowadays in which he thought he was living and that he had grown up you know, as a child, uh, in this, in this, uh, in this virtual reality that looks like like our world, but at the at the end of the twentieth century. And uh, and then when he wakes up in the pod, he wakes up to the real world. Everything else, but in his entire life, was a mere computer generated fantasy. Uh, so this is very much like the dream of Descartes or the malicious demon, especially uh, rendition of the problem, is that maybe your whole life you've been programmed to believe reality is one thing, but it's entirely different. Uh, and and so you know the question, of course, Descartes wants us to ask is, well, how do you know that isn't the case? Uh, but just to explain this a little further, the next clip uh, does. does make it a little more clear. I think, well, you can you can take a look at that. Um, it just sort of explains the narrative a little bit more. So if you're not familiar with this story, take a look at it and get familiar and, and look at the clips that I show you. And, and there's more clips on YouTube or you can rent the movie or find it someplace. Um, and, and it is worth taking a look at and is a good model for understanding what we're talking about because we are so familiar with virtual reality. Um, at the time this film was uh, released, you know, we didn't have, um, we didn't have the immersive kind of uh, virtual reality, reality even of like uh, the blizzard um, world of Warcraft, like that didn't exist at that time. So, um, so the experience nowadays with virtual reality it makes bridging that gap a, a, a lot easier. You could you could see okay if you just keep on iterating uh, programming to make a virtual reality world like World of Warcraft, if you just keep on making it more and more real, you can make a world that looks just like our world. And then if you're in that virtual reality how do you know you're in the virtual reality or might you start thinking that you're in the in the real world or you might think maybe this world what i've always thought of as the real world is just a virtual simulation of a world and of course with typical virtual reality we think well once i shut the game off i'm going to be in the real world and even if this is you know, this is all uh, computer generated virtual reality. When I, when I, when we shut off the machine, I'm going to, I'm going to take off the virtual reality gear or whatever. I'm going to unplug my brain or whatever the case may be. And it's still going to look like this, but what if it isn't? What if the real world is something entirely different? So that presents the philosophical question. How do we know what is real? And, 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 and it's the how do you know that's important. Uh, how do you go about knowing what is reality? And this is, this is one way of framing the fundamental question 
of metaphysics, which will come up a little later. All right, so in this next clip here, um, Morpheus, that's the, the uh, can't remember, Lawrence Fishburne character, uh, he explains he explains a little bit more, and that that might be enough to get you through if you're not familiar with the story. But take a look at uh, at that on your own. Um, okay, so I think I think I'll just leave that the, at that. I'm going to try to break this up into smaller segments, so it's a little easier to navigate if you need to come back and and rewatch a video real quickly. <clears throat> 